So, did you enjoy that uh, little movie? The story of the birth of Moses and how his mother looked after him even though it was very, very dangerous. And she didn't do what that wicked king said, which was to kill him. But rather she trusted that God would look after him. You know, some of, what are some of the things our mothers can uh, do for us when they look after us? They care for us, don't they? They feed you, they give you food, they dress you when you're very little and you can't dress yourself, and they protect you from harm, and they love you. They love you so, so much. And they do this when they trust in God, knowing that one day the Lord Jesus will come into your heart and into your lives. Because he loves you as much as your mum, even more than your mum. I've got a little verse that I want to read for you. It's a few verses in a book called Ephesians in the New Testament. And it's very special. It says, Children, obey your parents as the Lord wants, because this is the right thing to do. The command says, honour your father and mother. This is the first command that has a promise with it. Then everything will go well with you and you will have a long life on earth. Isn't that wonderful? So what does it mean? Obey. What does the word obey mean? It means doing what a person wants you to do. And what does honour? Honour means to have an attitude in your heart about a person's importance. To go well with you means that you will live a good life. And live, the New Testament says, that is staying alive a long time. So, what is honouring your mother? It's doing what your mum says right away. So, does it mean throwing a fit if you don't get what you want? No. Does it mean eating your dinner with thankfulness? Yes. Does it mean complaining about what mum cooked for dinner? No. Telling your mother that you love her. Yes, that's absolutely right. And praying for your mother too. And also, do you think it means telling other people that your mum's not nice? No, that's not honouring your mother. So let's just think about those things when we celebrate Mother's Day today. And when you go home. Let's just finish with a little prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you loved us so much. We thank you that you gave us mums who love us and look after us. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us instructions in your word. And we ask that you would help us to honour our mother and father. Help us to follow in the way that you lead us and help us also to love you back and to live a life that honours you and our mother and father. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.